Hello, it's Linda in Belize. If you're thinking of moving to Belize, you might want a vehicle. Now, first thing to mention is if you're going on to one of the islands like Ambergris Key, a vehicle is really not going to be a possibility. In fact, even golf carts, which are the most prevalent form of transportation, currently uh, have a moratorium on them. But this presentation is more for the mainland. So since I've moved to Placencia from San Pedro, I definitely needed a vehicle. And I had the choice of probably bringing something in from Canada, which is what my boyfriend John did with his truck, or getting a new vehicle. And I got found a way to get one that I wanna share with you today. So what are some of the things that you should consider when you're getting a vehicle in Belize? First of all is luxury vehicles. So these should generally be avoided, which a lot of people will tell you. One of the reasons is due to the humidity and the salt air, which are really bad for vehicles. And as well, Belize is a developing country. And so in some areas, showing that you have money might not be that great of an idea. The second thing is parts and serviceability. You need to have easy access to parts and mechanics. So you should try to pick a common vehicle type. And there is a lot of times you're going to have to import things anyway, but the less you have to do with that, the better. The final thing I wanted to talk about here is duty and taxes. So duty on vehicles is very expensive and can be at least 33% all the way up to 75% from what I heard from a customs broker. And you can talk to a customs broker to find out specifics on the type of vehicle you're thinking of bringing in if that's the case. One other thing I like to mention to people is cars might not be the most suitable because of some of the roads in Belize. So a lot of people do bring in SUVs or trucks or buy those when they're in the country. So what type of vehicle should you bring in? Well, I already mentioned that cars might not be suitable because of the roads, but I did, I forgot to mention the speed bumps. So that's another factor. Now I would check out the brands that the rental car companies have as those will be some of the most common. And the other thing you can do is talk to local mechanics, wherever it is that you're going to settle to see which vehicles they're experienced in fixing. So when I first knew I was going to move to Placencia from San Pedro, I started researching different vehicle companies in Belize. And I found Facebook pages for Toyota Belize, Kia Belize, and a lot of things are on Facebook. So you can look for used vehicles, private sales um, on the buy and sell within Belize Facebook group. And like everything in Belize, information is difficult to find because we don't have any central websites. We don't have an auto trader for vehicles. We don't have an MLS for real estate sales. We don't have a Zillow for rental properties. So there's lots of things you have to manually look for. Or what I do a lot is talk to many different people to find out what they do. So next I'm going to talk about what I did to find my vehicle. So one of the things I find the most useful in Belize is talking to people. And in the case of vehicles, I was very lucky to have a person from Belize in one of my accounting classes in the U.S. And he actually works for an insurance company. And so I asked a lot of questions while we were in the training over multiple days and found out who he used for an importer of vehicles. And basically the thing about this process is that the guy he uses actually imports vehicles from the u.s and a lot of people do do this and the great thing is that the price includes everything the car any repairs needed the shipping as well as customs and duty and the other thing i really liked about this particular uh person was that they had a u.s bank account and that meant i was able to pay for my car through zelle and that's one of the common problems in belize is for people that have belize dollars it's hard to get us so i often help people with that process as well and i'm fairly unique in that i have a canadian a belizean and an american bank account but if you don't some of this stuff can be a little more complex so I thought it'd be helpful to show my example. So I looked up a Kia Sportage because that was one of the vehicles recommended. And there was one at auction. So I went and looked online in Texas and found a 2019 Kia Sportage for $19,000. And it had 81, well, almost 82,000 miles on it. And I got a quote from my importer for a vehicle we found at auction that you can see on the left there, which only had 9,200 miles. Now, the accident was on the side of the vehicle, which is what needed repair. And my all-in quote with everything was $18,000. And that is a great thing because it included customs and duty and the drive all the way from the U.S. through Mexico to Belize, which is something I would not want to do. 
So it would not want it to do. So basically 18,000 versus 20,000 plus all the additional costs. So it was a fantastic deal. Now, not all importers are necessarily going to give you a fixed price for everything, but I was lucky that this one did. Thanks for watching. If you want to reach my contact for getting a vehicle into Belize or for any other questions, make sure you reach out.